I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Trying another new thing. Uh, you saw how I melded the caps and made a file handle. And I thought the biggest problem I was having with the thing was trying to get the parts to melt together and actually join. I had to roll them and mash them and do all kinds of things. Well, I thought if I would ground them up fine, then I would have a much better success rate. So, I went to Myers and I bought a cheap Hamilton Beach blender. Now, I got a small one because it says it had ice cube crushing power. Now, we'll see. I know that I don't need to crush a whole lot of anything. So the size of the blender isn't as important as being able to actually crunch up the stuff that I want to do. So I thought, well, we're going to give it a shot. A little cup is taped on there. That's interesting. Comes off. Cool. Okay, we'll untie the cord. And we're going to try and see if this thing actually can chew up pop bottle caps. There, got the bowl locked on correctly. Only going to put a few in there. Now let's see what happens. Well, it does tear off the sides of them. I think I need more in there. I think I need to make a bigger batch. One of the neat things I'm seeing is the little blue seals that are on the inside of each one of these pop caps, which I really didn't want to have in the mix because it's a different kind of plastic. The cap itself is cutting up, but the plastic liner is not. Okay. No, this isn't just one day worth of pop bottle caps. This is several weeks. I've been getting funny looks because what are you saving those for? And I showed her the making file handles video and it wasn't really a positive experience. Well, let's see. Most of the cap is just totally destroyed. And these little blue discs are uh, actually staying pretty good. I don't want to have my fingers in there while I have it on top of the power unit because that just in invites me to get my fingers <laughs> banged up. 
not likely to have my fingers down in far enough to get into the cutters. But it really doesn't make any sense to tempt fate. There are other kinds of plastic. They don't have these little blue discs in them, which I think I would probably be better off using that kind of plastic than to spend my time separating the plastic off of these little blue seal discs because it really gains me very little. But it does give me the opportunity to try it with something that I know works. I was able to melt the bottle caps and have them function. They made a file handle and it actually worked a lot better than the other plastic that I used. Let's dump this into a plastic tray. My favorite thing for separating stuff. And I can just pick out the little blue plastic things a lot easier just like that. Instead of calling them little blue plastic things, we're going to call them seals. Able to take out the seals with much less trouble. I think if I do so and drop the pieces that still have the seals on them back into the blender and the larger chunks of cap. Blender did a fine job of tearing up the material. I mean, it made it small little chunks. Being able to remove the blue seals is just a side benefit that I hadn't counted on. As it doesn't look like the blue stuff, I'm able to break up the gray stuff. But the blue stuff just bounces. So it doesn't want to separate and chew up. That's okay. it all back up again and give it another shot. Hardly worth the effort of recovery, but it, it did satisfy the needs of the experiment. We've ended up with pretty much dust. Still a few pieces left in there, but mostly just dust. Uh, if I had to pick, I'd say sizes range from this size to basically powder. Now there might be a better way to make a grinder, but I think this is going to function pretty well just as it is. Now, since those were Pepsi caps, 
And these are ginger ale caps. I'm going to try them just to see if there's a difference. I don't imagine there is. But we got the machine. We got the time. Let's just see what happens. Now, if I didn't use bottle caps and just used a straight source of plastic, something like the bottle itself, I think I would have much better success just because I wouldn't be trying to separate this stuff. And actually, separating this stuff really isn't necessary. When I heated up the previous batch of bottle caps, uh, the seal just melted right into them and made it part of the amalgamation without any real discernible layer of blue plastic in there. And this is just experimentation to see if the blender works. And at this point, I gotta say the blender does a fine job of reducing the size of the parts down to a point where they should blend much easier. This was a much larger quantity of bottle caps than this. Let's try a different sample. I don't think I can get this thing to even chew it up in this large a piece, but I'm gonna try it. Something that'll go down in there and chew up. Now let's see what happens. Well, it did manage to chew it up into pretty small pieces. This is the kind of plastic that melted really, really fast. Didn't take much heat. This little Hamilton Beach blender, it's uh, 
single serve blender, model number 51101. The reason I got it, it was rated as being able to break up ice cubes and I thought it needed to have enough power. And also it was $14.99 because they're going, you know, they're, they're being uh, eliminated from the stock at Myers. They're no longer gonna be sold there. But it chewed up, these are ginger ale, ginger ale bottle caps. These are bottle caps off of Diet Pepsi. This is a bottle cap off of Downy Fabric Softener. Pretty successful. Now I have samples to work from. I have more than my little bottle will hold, but I also have multiple extra little bottles. rate of speed. There, that worked. Yep, just Well, actually it's about the same amount as the white ones. So now I have three colors of plastic to try further experiments with. Who knows what's gonna happen next? And we'll see what happens in part two. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna go with this, but it's gonna be a lot of fun trying it. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments below. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button.